two medals in the two attempts that you had a gold for team and a bronze how does it feel now to be honest I, I, the feeling is of the gold has still not sunk in and especially of the bronze it just feels so 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 unreal you know this is all i have what i have wanted this is all what i have always visualized this is all what i have always hoped for you know uh, it is it's it's you know, this is not come overnight i have worked hard for years you know i shifted to germany already in 2017 6 years ago and there's been uh, it has it is due to the sacrifices of my coaches of my coach mr yuvar shmit of my family of everyone who has supported me this is this medal is for them it would never have been possible without them and uh, i'm just so so happy that i did this uh, for india especially you know i think this will be a great great boost not only this but also the team gold Uh, a great great boost to equestrian sport in india there's enough talent and i think this will inspire a lot of people to take up the sport it's a beautiful sport and india has a lot of potential to win a lot of golds in the future as well not much history in dressage in india we don't have a great legacy to speak of what inspired you to take up dressage to be honest my parents uh, i uh, my uh, i come from calcutta uh, from kolkata and uh, there's a small riding club uh, next uh, not too far away from my home called the tolliganj club and they used to start, take me on sundays uh, to uh, ride at the club especially because they wanted to become a member at this club and they had said one person from the family has to play one sport so my father said let's put anush into horse riding and that's how the journey started and uh, they used to take me on the weekends on sundays uh, we used to go there and i used to sit on a horse and after that i used to eat and i used to get an ice cream so that's how it started and slowly it turned into a passion i started going for lessons then at the age of 11 i uh, i moved to i started flying every weekend to new delhi because that was where i was uh, i switched trainers to new delhi that was where i was training so i used to complete my schooling from monday to friday in calcutta and then go uh, to uh, on uh, new delhi on the weekends and then uh, Uh, at the age of 17 i i uh, realized you know i'm not good enough either i uh, go all in or i quit because i'm not i don't want uh, I, if i if i'm riding i want to compete at the highest level and i decided to ma- move uh, make the shift to germany i'm grateful that i did anush um, you competed in the world equestrian game last yes. year uh, that's a higher standard of competition yes. did that give you the confidence and the morale to be able to challenge the best here and then go on to do the, get those two medals for of India. course of course i think competing at the world championship last year was gave me personally a very big boost of confidence you know that uh, i'm i i'm uh, good enough to compete against really the best of the best in uh, at the world games you had uh, olympians you had uh, um, olympians who were winning olympic medals uh, i don't even know how many so uh, it was great to be able to breathe the same air as them to compete in the same arena as them against them as competitors and uh, of course i think uh, it helped me a lot in my preparation to the games i uh, personally i felt you know i've already done it uh, i've already performed well at the world games so why not at the asian games and uh, i think it uh, it was uh, great personally for me to uh, to have had this experience at the world games and especially on the team day i was the last rider for india to go i knew there was a lot of pressure on me that i had to put up a big performance to uh, so that to secure the team gold and uh, this uh, performance already being in a stadium like this you know stadiums like this atmospheres like this you don't ride in it every day and already being in such an atmosphere at the world games last year of course helped me uh, to stay calm and to stay strong and in my performance uh, you have a big team but there is one partner of your who perhaps deserves equal credit and i'm talking about ethro here yes so can you take us through the journey of your relationship with ethro yes so uh, uh, being a very a very frank uh, ethro uh, we have a very uh, young partnership i only uh, started riding him in february and this is only our seventh or eighth show together and today we had uh, our first ever international freestyle so uh, he's he's a lovely boy he's a he's a 9 year old stallion from escola and uh, he 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 loves being the center of attention uh, he loves being in the spotlight he loves when he knows that people are watching him and i think i'm so proud of how he developed in the uh, since he's landed in china i think he the moment he landed in china he knew it was game time and he's just been amazing even though it's been so warm he 3 uh, days after one another is really 
difficult for a horse, especially for a nine-year-old horse who's never been uh, competing at a championship, uh, especially three days after one another. So I'm so so happy of how he helped me. I felt really felt that you know we were sync in a t we were perfectly in sync, and it's just a great feeling. After the test, he walked out really relaxed outside. He was standing perfect relaxed during the medal ceremony and it's amazing he's such a such an amazing boy and I hope that I can uh, crack the Grand Prix level with him uh, as my next goal. What made you pick Ketro as your partner? To be honest uh, uh, Ethro has uh, I, I am only riding him since uh, February but he has been at our stable with my coach uh, Mr. Hubert Schmidt since he was three years old so I knew how he was I um, I always really liked him. I always, uh, you know, in the stable uh, when I went uh, in the uh, to the stable where he was uh, stable, I always liked petting him. I always loved cuddling him, and I always liked him. He's a great mover, a great personality, and I think he uh, the two medals this would not have been possible without him. And he just proved what an amazing, amazing horse he is. Especially he was he's only uh, nine years old, and uh, yes, I think it's amazing. From breaking news, detailed analysis, in-depth interviews and explainers, follow the Times of India. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like our videos and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest.